joining us in mouse mode. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with CTX Virtual Technologies, and they're showing off a really uh, unusual concept here, which is a small uh, box that is basically a full-fledged computer. This is the production model. Right now we're using some samples, but uh, production model is, what, about three or four pounds? Uh, yes. Okay. So it's uh, just a couple of pounds. It has an awful lot of uh, ports here on the side. If we take a quick look, we've got uh, a couple of USB ports, Ethernet, uh, two SIM cards, or yeah. SIM and micro. Okay. Micro uh, or full size SD? Uh, no, micro SD. Micro SD. Uh, HDMI output, and on the other side, there's actually an HDMI input. So you can use this. Well, I'll tell you in a second. Um, and then we've got audio jacks, right? AVI. Oh, uh, AVI in. AVI in. Okay. So the reason we have input and output on this is because it's got a projector built in. So there's a small LCD display on the top, but you can actually project the uh, whole thing up on a screen and the computer's got the built-in projector and a projected keyboard as well, uh, which works as a touchpad and as a keyboard. So um, let's try and line this up here and you can see that he's actually using it to type on the screen and he can switch to mouse mode and move the cursor. And so you've got a, a complete computer in a box with the display built in and the keyboard built in if you consider projected onto a screen or onto a table to be built in. Um, there's also, as I mentioned, this screen and you can tilt up the screen so that if you just want to use the small display you can or you can project the, um, change the angle of the projector so you can project on a wall at an angle up on the ceiling. <laughs> and the reason that there's HDMI input and AV uh, input is because you can use this just as a projector pass-through so you can plug in a DVD or Blu-ray player or some other device, a game uh, controller, and project it onto a screen at, res at uh, up to 80 inches, you said? 88 inches. 88 inches. Uh, now the resolution is uh, 800 by 472? 478. Uh, 478. So it's not the highest resolution display, but it's still a, a rather interesting concept. And it's going to be available in April, April. you said? April for around $600 and up. Um, has an Intel Atom processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and it'll be available with uh, 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabytes of uh, uh, solid state storage. And did I miss anything really important here? Uh, iPhone docking. Oh, all right, iPhone docking station. So again, you can then use that to um, you can dock directly into your iTunes. Mm -hmm. And you can actually play your iPhone, the video camera, directly on the, on the screen. And it's also got a built-in battery, I forgot to mention. So it'll run for about two hours when you're using it in projector mode, or up to six hours when you're just using the built-in display. Um, and because of all these docks, if you don't like the uh, virtual keyboard, you can plug in a USB keyboard, you can use a Bluetooth or a wi uh, wireless keyboard, um, and mouse, and you know pretty much anything else, because basically it's a tiny laptop computer. Or, I mean, a desktop computer. Thank you very much.